you mentioned in your book as well that you, you don't like to make assumptions. And I think assumptions, yeah. uh, you know, they can derail anybody, but instead you prefer to ask great questions. So what are your favorite questions to ask from discovery all the way through to delivery, that, that entire yeah. relationship? What are your favorite questions that you think have the most impact? There's so many. I think obviously the one I mentioned already is with the very beginning of the relationship is um, what are your success metrics? Mm. So how do you measure success? And then the big question is when and then putting it in your calendar. So I think a lot of times we don't we ask only if they mention things. Yeah. I actually like to ask it up front. So that's the thing. And I also love to do pre-mortems, which is at the very start of a project, asking them questions like, what do you think could go wrong? <laughs> what are your greatest concerns? What are potential obstacles? What are your greatest yeah. fears? I think if we ask those questions, like a, not a postmortem, but a premortem, yeah, we could really respond to that and say, or be, or adjust our process. Say, okay, if your greatest fear is this, like you have a lot of stakeholders and you're yeah. worried about, you know, getting everybody's buy-in. Let's build a process where we can build everybody's buy-in. Mm. What does that look like? Let's adjust our services and our scope of work to make sure that we have an all hands on deck meeting so we can present to the board or whatever. So I think it's around um, asking, you know, what their fears are. And I don't mm. think we do that enough because we're afraid to hear those answers, right? Yeah. So I think those are really great questions. And throughout the process, it's really about listening to, mm. not just asking questions, but, and I guess the one thing I would say about questions, although I have so many questions I would like to ask, um, <laughs> is there's no, I think there, we're so fearful of asking too many questions. To me, yeah. there's no such thing as too many questions. Mm. Um, I think you could always hop on an email or hop on a call and just say, I had one more question, you know, just to get, they really do appreciate it. Mm. And you'll get signals if you ask too many questions. Um, I think it's obviously, to me, a lot of it's around stakeholders, like who's involved in the project and what their role is. Mm. Um, and not just taking their word for it. So for instance, you're working for a nonprofit and they say, oh, you're just going to work with me. And you should ask, because you know nonprofits have board of directors or board of advisory. Mm. I'm like, you should really ask if the board's involved. Mm. You know, you've had these problems in the past. Make sure you are clear to the client. Is this person involved? Is the CMO involved? Like refer back to your own experience with other clients of those industries to kind of use that information to ask smart questions. Mm. Um, I think the other thing is, around feedback is giving them guide rails for evaluation feedback. So my questions a lot of times when I'm giving initial concepts or another round of revisions is I give them a guide rail of questions that they should answer. Like, did mm. this solve your problem? Yeah. Is the typographic hierarchy correct? So I think it's around not just giving them presentations and saying, is this approved? But telling them this is what you're supposed to approve. And this is what mm. you're not supposed to approve. And that's through questions.